All right, we are ready to start building. That's right, we got to build here in the starting square. Here we are, thinking in the box. The box is here. We're going to think all kinds of stuff. Okay, what are we going to build here? Well, I, I actually want to build a college town. College town is good. College town is a party town. Yeah, well, well uh, let me finish. I want to actually have a tower up on this hill over here, and then I will build a road off of that. I'll have to figure out how it goes down the hillside and then crosses over into town. Wait a minute. What are you, what are you talking? You, 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 you're building outside of the box? Yes, I'm going to build outside of the box. You can't build outside of the box. The box is the box. What do you mean the box is the box? The box is the box. This is where you start. If you want to build over there, you've got to buy another tile. Uh, okay. Now, if you have unlocked everything, you can purchase another tile. No, no, I, I, I don't want to buy another tile right now. I want to build here. But you said you want to build outside of the box. Yes, I want to build a little thing over here so I can get an idea of where a road is going to go. And then I'm going to have it connect back over here and then build this area out first. I want this to be my, my hometown, as it were, and then put the college on this side of the street. Oh, well, okay, then buy the tile. No, I don't want to buy the tile. You you have to buy the tile. I don't want to buy the tile. You have to buy the tile. I don't want to buy the tile. You have to buy the tile. I don't want to buy the tile. I'm going to put the road right over here. I'm going to hit space down there so that it lines up just nice. And then line, there we go. Okay, now that I've built the road, what are you doing? You just built outside the box. The box is the box. You built outside the box. Yes, yes, I did. And I'm going to now put a tower here. This is the, ah, there we go. I like that UT tower asset. Oh, wow. It looks really nice going over the river here. What what are you doing? You built outside of the box. You seem to be hung up on that. I am hung up on that. How did you do that? How did how 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 did you do that? I did that with a mod. Oh, so you're cheating? I am not cheating. We we've, we've been through this before. Mods just add fun to the game and allow you to do things that you weren't able to do before. Oh, okay. Well, what mod is this? This is the 81 Tiles 2 mod. The the settings are pretty straightforward. I I just want to have this part here. Permit building outside of owned air, own tiles here. When this is enabled, I can build outside of own tiles. I've done that. And now I don't have to buy the tile. I could still build within the box, like you said, because the box is the box. But I can now build outside so I can get started with some ideas over there. It also allows me to adjust freeways or train lines that maybe uh, you, maybe their nodes need adjusting so we avoid traffic problems with that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you, why don't you just buy all the tiles or unlock all of them? Well, I like having the box, as you say, because over here I can maybe create a neighborhood that follows the limits of the area. Like, you know, I just go over here and I don't want to actually have it extend far beyond the limits of that boundary there and now I can fill it all in like this make a nice little neighborhood to start with here we go and presto there we go we got Dixon Circle whoa wait a minute Dixon Circle Th that's not a default name no it's not I I've, I've, I've got another mod for that well, you'll have to tell me about that later uh, you're, you're blowing my mind with 81 tiles right now okay so first of all why do you not buy the whole thing well again, I just want to build in this area here. I can unlock other tiles as I need to, but I want to build here directly. I just need to do a little bit of planning outside of the area, and then I'm fine. So that's how I play it. I don't unlock all the tiles from the start. And then you do build outside. Yes, I do. What about the other options? They look like they were cheating. What? what, do you, what? Yeah, oh, there they are. Yeah, you enable electricity without power lines. You're doing transmission along roads, and you've enabled water, sewage, and heating transmission without pipes. That's cheating. No, it means I'm, I don't want to mess with those tedious elements of the game. I, I, I know if I was playing it in a speed run, I'd have those turned off and I would put the pipes in because that's fair. But honestly, I don't like putting the pipes in. I do like putting the pipes in. Well, then don't enable that option. It's off by default. Oh, okay. I could do that. Yeah, you could. I just don't want to have to mess with the pipes or the power line, so I have them turned off. Isn't it more realistic to mess with them? It's more realistic if I put them where I think they need to go, but not have to worry about the game itself running properly without it. Okay. Uh, so what, what's the unlock central 25 tile area and unlock all areas? What's the difference there? Well, the central 25 tile area is where things are going to run best. If you have the central 25 tiles unlocked, everything that's built within those is going to run optimally. They, they will fit within the game parameters. So I try to put my airport there. I try to put my main industry areas there, my park areas. All of those work best within the central 25 tile area. They can have weird things happen if they're built outside of those central 25 tiles. Not everybody reports the same problems, but I've had enough issues with them that I want to keep them within my central 25 tiles. This will allow me to see where those areas are, plan accordingly, 
and then keep building after that. Eventually, I may just decide to unlock all areas and then build normal things outside there. Uh, normal Rico buildings are going to work fine outside of the Central 25 tile area. The, the water works, the trees work, everything else works, but it's those specialty DLCs for airports, industry, and other stuff that tend to work in weird ways outside of that central area. So yeah, I, I am going to build this college within the Central 25 tiles. I'm just not starting it within the Central tile itself. You got that? Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, tell me, how did you get those names there? That's pretty pretty wicked there, man. The, the, did, did you like... Did you, wow. Okay, I'll show you. So the mod in question that I use is called Custom Name Lists. If you load this up in Skive, it will show that there's a problem because it hasn't been updated since 2017. Well, it doesn't need to be updated because all it does is tell you here's how you can change the name of everything in the game. You create your own name list and put it in and there you are. It's, it's that simple. So ignore the warnings in Skive for this particular mod. It's fine. But in it, yeah, I just got a nameless file and I started creating names. I'm able to set names for different types of streets. So I can say very small two-lane streets will have have this list here. Once we go from street names to road names, I've got different road names now. So these are for the four and six lane streets. Bigger streets still will have the avenue names. And then we get into the highway names. All of this is ready to go. Bridge names even, because I typed them all in. I made it happen. Yes, there was a lot of copy and paste and then typing in between the different hashtags here. But yeah, it all worked out just fine. Here's where I changed all my district names. Now they all have authentic Texas sounding names. I've got five points. I will dual say Wheatsville. I also went in and made my Sims names more multicultural. I didn't like the list they had. I made one of my own. So I've got Craig and Keith and Don and Robert. I've got Oliver. I've got Andrew, Lennox, Cruz, Beto, Chewy, Tavo. I've got Mohammed, Jorge, Arturo, Felix, Jesus, Troy. And I've got more representative last names. I've got Wynn. I've got Moore. I've got Wilson. I've got Gomez. I've got Reyes. I've got Trevino. I've got Salazar. I've got Khan. And the same thing for the ladies here. I've given them lots more names than what was in the game. I've got Shaniqua. I've got Monica. I've got Rawaz. I've got <laughs> Bessie. I've got a Gloria, all kinds of cool stuff. And yeah, the I have to put in the, the same last names as I had before, but there we are. I've created that name list. And now whenever something gets named in the game, it's something that I put together and it's different from the defaults. Well, that's pretty wicked cool, man. So there you go. 81 tiles and custom name list. Two mods that I consider very definitive. 81 tiles is maintained and will not give a warning in Skive, but custom name lists does give a warning. It's very old, hasn't been maintained, but it doesn't need maintaining. Hope you enjoy them and I hope you have fun with them in your game and may you love the city you live in as much as the city you build and vice versa. Happy city painting, everybody.